Hi friends, thanks for joining me again today. I hope that you can hear me okay. It's a little bit blustery outside because we've got a storm coming from the north and one from the east. So there's a lot of wind going on, but I got a little closer to the camera um, in hopes that you can still hear me. I enjoyed coming out here last week. I just feel, you know, I feel at ease in nature. And also, I feel like it's sort of private out here. Even though I'm outside, I just feel like it's private. You know, there's nobody roaming around in my backyard except for me and the birds, and I'm happy with the birds roaming around in my backyard. So I wanted to mention that this is hashtag gratitude journal, and it is a collaboration with myself, Lilo Crafts, Karamia's Corner, and Susan's Heartstrings. And I wanted to say thank you to those ladies for participating. And I wanted to thank all of you who have given me words of encouragement over the past several weeks. I have appreciated that so much uh, because my first two journal sessions were, uh, I was definitely sharing my gratitude, but I was also sharing some sadness that went along with my gratitude. And in case you missed it, I just wanted to mention to you that uh, I was explaining in last week's video that uh, we can have gratitude, but also mishmashed in with that can be other feelings and emotions as well. And I, I just I just want to just put that out there in case some of you are feeling like, yeah, I am so grateful for whatever, but also I feel this way about it. Now, this week I wanted to, you guys know I'm working in my little journal, and uh, that was given to me by my friend Pam. Pam Van E is her channel and uh, she made that for me and I'm so grateful for it and thankful. And as I was getting set up today, I hadn't zeroed in on anything specific that I wanted to get into. But I had made my list, because that's always a good thing to do with a gratitude journal, is make a list of things that you're grateful for. If you notice the video clipping in and out, it's because there's a, a lawn crew <laughs> over there at the high school and they're mowing the lawn, so each time they come by, I'm pausing for, it only takes them a few seconds to get by, because they must be turning around right over there. But uh, at any rate, I don't feel like you guys need to listen to the lawn crew going by. So anyway, as I was getting set up today to come out, I had planned on you know, looking in my little journal, because I had made my little list of things that I'm grateful for, and I wanted to elaborate each week on those things, like pick a, subject and sort of get into it. Well, as I was setting up, I was carrying, I've showed you guys this mug before and it says, but first beach. I've showed that to you guys before and I am grateful for that, but it made me think bigger and it made me just want to share with you this week that I have gratitude and I am thankful for thoughtfulness, right? Um, thoughtfulness is such a powerful gift and it, it doesn't always represent itself in an actual physical gift like the mug <laughs> but even kind words that are thoughtful small gestures big gestures just knowing that someone else thought about me today is a gift and, and then also that's something that I can share. If somebody's on my heart and I can reach out to them verbally, I can send them something that might be uplifting for them. Um, so thoughtfulness is something that I wanted to share with you guys that I'm grateful for. So we're gonna journal about that a little bit today, I think. So along with that, I wanted to express my gratitude for friends. And I can expand on that a little bit. You know, I have my personal friends that are like physically in my life, and I am grateful for them. I will say that the dynamics of many of my friendships changed once I had kids or they had kids. And then because we didn't live near each other, it, uh, life just changed. And so I'm not as close to them as I used to be. I'm still 
close, but not as close. And it's one of those things where it's a phone call away. You know, you, you pick up where you left off. It's like, it's like there was no time missing at all, even though there was some time missing. So I'm, I'm so grateful for friendships. And in that, I wanted to say that I am grateful for the friendship that I have with you guys. So even though it's not a physical in-person friendship, it's, it, it is online, it, it, but it is social. It's, it's a social thing. We, we mail things to each other. We comment on each other's videos. We have a great camaraderie in this community. And that's a really special thing. And I know that having that camaraderie and that support is so important to many of us. I, like my first two weeks of journaling, I had things that I wanted to share that I was grateful for, but that were also really emotional for me and they weren't necessarily easy for me. And who did I go to? I didn't go to my friends here in Florida where I live. I brought it to you guys. And that's really amazing when I think about it. And you guys cared enough to listen, right? <laughs> and, and, and to comment supportive uh, and wonderful things saying you know you got this basically or yeah I went through it too and it is tough and it is an adjustment you know sometimes people in our in our lives in our physical lives they don't really want to hear about it you know and and, and you guys you know and, and some of you guys don't want to hear about it too and that's fine but some of you do and that's the support that I'm talking about and so I wanted to just say that I'm grateful for you guys. I'm grateful for the time that you spend with me. I am grateful for the comments that you leave. I'm grateful that, you know, you're part of my lives in this very special way. And not just a special way, but a healing way. You know, uh, doing this collaboration has brought me some healing. I'm still struggling. I'm not gonna lie about that. I, I am, I'm, I'm, I don't know why this year I'm particularly triggered. Uh, I've never been triggered during the holidays, but I am this year. I I, I just feel it. And, uh, but, you know, you guys just saying, you, you'll be all right, you'll be all right, you know. It really helps, and I just have to tell you how thankful I am for that. So let me get into my journal, and then I will share my journaling with you. All right, my friends, I want to share my journal entries with you today. I did some extra journaling while I was sort of getting in the zone, as you guys have heard me mention before. And so I did that to sort of be able to come full circle and get into the gratitude part. So I'm gonna share that with you. And here's my little entry card. Well, this is one of them that I wrote on today. I want to be aware of all the wonderful people and experiences in my life. And then my next little card, and I've dated them. I sometimes get hyper-focused and anxious, and my mind jumps to the worst case scenario. I need to work on being in the here and now, in the moment. And I do think that that is a helpful tool. And I used to be really good at that. I was really being mindful and working on that at one point in time in my life. And then, you know, as we sometimes do, we forget the things that we're working on because maybe something came up and then we get derailed a little bit. So this has just been a great reminder to sort of just get recentered. So then I got my little pamphlet here that Pam made and I put the date on it. And it says, starting my day with gratitude will help and getting into the habit of finding things throughout the day to be grateful for will help too. And I think that'll help keep me in the present time and I think that's gonna be a useful tool for me. I'm grateful for thoughtfulness and friendship. Just knowing that someone is thinking of me is very uplifting. Knowing that they understand and that they are cheering me on helps give me what I need to take another step forward. It's a wonderful reminder that we are not in this thing called life alone. I'm thankful for all of the support from my family and friends. My YouTube friends share a special place in my heart. They share my love for art and understand what it is to be an artist and how that impacts our lives in a unique way. And I did want to talk to you about that real quick. Um, you guys, most of you are creators. 
And so you know what that is for us. You know what that does for our heart. You know what that does for our anxiety. Um, you know it just can bring us a feeling of well-being and happiness. I know that it does for me. And my non-art friends could care less. They don't get it. They don't understand it. They think the things I make are beautiful and I'm happy about that. But they don't get what it means for our heart and our soul. And you guys do. And I just want to tell you how comforting and how wonderful that is to be in this community of creators and, you know, people that truly understand. And uh, artists are unique. We, we are unique people and um, we express ourselves through our art quite frequently. And I think you guys get that as artists. but there again like our friends and maybe even some of our family they can't relate to that so I wanted to thank you guys and tell you that I am truly grateful not only for your thoughtfulness when you comment when you uh, send a happy mail uh, just any little thing any little thing and but also I'm thankful that you get me and I just think that that is wonderful. So friends, thank you so much for joining me today. If you want to take part in this collaboration, go ahead. Use the hashtags so we can find your video and tag us in your de description box so that we can, uh, that'll be another way that we can find your video. And uh, we have one more week left and I hope you will join us. And uh, thanks for watching. See you soon.